All right, we're taking a look at what we have in the garage here right now. It's been stuffed in here since the movers dropped everything off last week on Wednesday. Uh, it's a mix of totes, exercise equipment, tables, bookcase, boxes. This is the garage back at the man cave, or the ADU, the accessory dwelling unit. We'll probably call it man cave mostly. Uh, take a look in through here. This is the door to the garage, the, the main door to the ADU is actually right there. Um, so I think this entry room, I noticed all the boxes, that's about a little over a hundred banker's boxes, plus some of these totes here that would like fit in a Calax. Uh, I think we're gonna have mostly bookcases down here and then have a room for a table here for, some games, so I need to start figuring out, <laughs> obviously the bookcase is against the wall, so these need to be moved, but I can start with some bookcases here and start filling from that and make room, etc. Um, so the <laughs> house is here. This is the backyard, of course, there's a driveway with the gate through the backyard there's the back entrance there on the other side of that grill in the cover but here's the backyard yes there is a spiral staircase up to the deck of the second floor of the man cave and there's the main space up above the garage there um busy and down this long driveway there's a circular driveway in from the house and the main two-car garage we'll show you the front of the house later but uh, so I probably have some stuff in that front garage that got mixed in we tried to have the movers separate the, the stuff um, so let me limp I don't know if some of you heard that I injured myself during the move. I stepped back onto some barbells on the floor. All right, so there's the long staircase up to the upper floor. Um, and I'm filming this in vertical mode. Shame on me. I will switch to horizontal mode later for a subsequent video or something. All right, now, upstairs, we're gonna go through some French doors here. See glass doors on each side. Uh, so some bookcases I've already put in. I managed to move some stuff earlier. And you can see some game from Holland Spiel and West End Games here. Uh, so I recognize that. I think that's Ardwolf's un most unfavorite artwork on a war game, Opera Janusky. That thing there is a Murphy bed. And I had this, there's this front desk part to it. I made sure that was down so as the moves were bringing stuff in, make sure there was some room. So. Obviously these things are not gonna stay here. Um, so, <laughs> how to sort of... So here's two four by four calyxes next to each other. And I'm actually gonna get some two by four calyxes, put them on their side along there. So that'll hit. Uh, these are 
Don't ask why I have four copies of the Dungeons & Dragons basic game from whatever that is. So all these yellow, there's two different yellow tones, have lids. They were cheaper that way, but the lids don't fit in with them. The gray ones and the purple ones didn't have any lids. Uh, <laughs> so I'm trying to understanding what's going on here. So this is a big wide open space that I'm going to be partitioning across the middle here. And I think we got a we got a, a hutch here. Uh, it'll be a bookcase next to it, and then either a small bookcase or something else is going to go there. And these are all going to get lined up and fill these are two bookcases of the same size. I actually have three of them, but the back sort of tore off of one. I need to uh, tack and glue that on to steady it more. This here is a nice wood, double wide uh, bookcase there. So that's all one big piece. So I'm going to figure out where all this stuff goes, right? So here is my gaming table. And I've <laughs> got to push in and tuck in the, the tabletop. You see it sort of got pulled out when it got moved, but that should lie flat, tucking in under the top. This was made by the Board Game, board, board game Table Company. This is their Jasper model, which is a pre-designed, it's not a custom one, so it's much cheaper. It's much cheaper, and it has uh, spots under here where you can put, uh, I don't see them here, uh, cup holders and things. And in a, uh, those, yeah, there is Board Game Table Company, um, there's a tabletop. A cover that can go on there that'll act as a dining room tabletop that you can have your game underneath here set up. That's a peg to something. Um, TV stand, new TV, more of these things that I had to put up by uh, Victory Games, uh, Australian uh, Design Bureau, I guess it is. Some Spitzer stuff, uh, Stigler's favorite, for those of you that know, Decision Games, some Sim Canada stuff. Weird, weird variety stuff. Oh, there's in your, um, <laughs> so there's going to be more shelves going to either side of the table. There has to be enough room to have at least six chairs around uh, in a pinch. You can pull that table away and maybe have enough room here uh, to have like a full eight people around the table. Uh, <laughs> so these are all either books, games, magazine holder type things that may have role-playing book stuff in them. There's another, there's a two by four calyx tall, two, four tall, two wide, and we got two more of those to put on their side. So oh, there you see some good old GMT stuff. Uh, you can't see it all. The epic, epic tiny XXX. Uh, so there's a big bookcase going in that corner. This, well, I'm just going to not block the outlet. So it'll probably fit there. I can get in there. So nice sturdy wood shelf. Uh, probably chair is going to go here. Might be able to put a small bookcase here or not. I have two of these things. These are really narrow bookcases. So I'll have to figure. Uh, in the old house, <laughs> we had two hutches back to back diagonally and then a set of bookcases back to back diagonally. We had these. Some of you may have saw some of the pictures. These are loaded with GMT games, and they were next to the 
hutch, which was loaded with uh, Richard Berg stuff and some other general SBI things, like the big detergent boxes. Uh, and then back on this side, we did have this in this relative position, this double wide here. And then here was another hutch. Well, that hutch is now inside the house. So we've got to figure out, either get two more of these to back, exactly back to back here. What fix the one, get another one. Or figure out something that's going to fit in here a little more exactly. Uh, the top's not even here. Obviously, you want to be a little better. So those are obviously not all in place, but we'll, we'll figure that out. So <laughs> what is this pile of junk we have here? So we have a upside down. It's turned on its top. It's a table desk with a drawer. It's taped on there from the moving. And underneath here, you can't really see that well. <laughs> and look here. This is a desk, uh, like a footrest or whatever. Uh, so whether either one of those will actually be up here or not, I do not know as we were moving. One of the things that <laughs> my wife kept telling the movers, well, no, that doesn't go in the main house. So they either ended up moving it here or stuffing it in one garage there. So we have way more stuff here. This round table is what my wife is using for dining room table and we switched to another one. So whether that'll fit up here or not, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so how many of you have a ton of chairs in their kitchen in your man cave? Uh, there's an example of some of the early stuff I moved. A bunch of role-playing stuff. There's hero games. Uh, there's some D&D, R.A. Salvatore, Demon stuff, Space Gamer magazines, weird role-playing games like Fantaside. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Weird stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's see up there on the top. There's weird things like Sword Lords <laughs> and various fantasy paths, castle paths, old things from the D&D era, and part of the Petal Throne up there, and it's corner of shame after Emir Barker's discovered to be an alleged Nazi. Probably is. Assume that he is. Either he's doing, he's doing a very deep, amazing, practical joke, writing that Nazi fan novel. <laughs> I don't think anyone goes to that length of a joke. So the man came up, actually, there's a bathroom up here. The jacuzzi tub. Use it for the first time today. So my injured leg. Uh, now, so out here, doo -doo -doo -doo, this door leads to the deck. So, so looking back down at the house, the backyard. Ah, there we are. Bunch of lawn furniture that my wife acquired over the last few years. Uh, there's more of it. There's some more in the front garage. All right. So again, there's the spare staircase. It's uh, custom built, but uh, it's not exactly the code because the stairs on the inner spiral are not wide enough. They don't have enough foot fall, I guess you'd call it. All right, so <laughs> I think I'm going to cut this short right now. We're just hitting the 14 minute mark. I'll do some more in a little bit. Uh, this is what we have to tackle. Oh yes, there's that desk that there's a, P, a lip that goes here like to uh, catch, you know, pens, rulers, pencils, whatever. Mm, and that's pieces of another table, yet another table, yeah, right. <laughs> so let's call this quits for now.